Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Attention Insight, which is a pretty cool tool that's going to let you analyze designs. That means images or websites. And what it's going to do, it's going to tell you where the hotspots are. What is a hotspot? A hotspot is where people's attention is drawn. So it's going to show you where the attention is. So maybe you have a design with some buttons, with some text, with some images, and it's going to tell you where the attention is going to go. And based on that, it's going to let you know if the design is good or not, or if you need to change it. And it's going to also let you compare to other designs. Now, heads up, there's a really good deal going on right now. It's only $59. It's a lifetime deal. That means you pay once and you use it forever. And if you guys want to support me, check out the link in the description. All right, so let's jump into my desktop and check out this baby. All right, this is the deal that's going on right now. And like I said before, it's $59. Lifetime deal. Pay once, use it forever. What do you get with this $59? Well, you get 100 designs per month. That means every month it's going to reset and you're going to have 100 designs. That means like the images that it's going to test out and give you the algorithm hotspots. Each one is based on one design. Now, if you need more designs, jump to the double stack, which is 200 designs, but you get three users. And if you need branding removal, you jump to multiple. So that's $177 for the lifetime deal with with branding removal. That's 300 designs per month and six user seats. If you need more, then you can jump up to 10 codes, which is 1,000 designs per month. That's a whole lot. 27 users and removal branding. That's a deal. Now let's jump over to the actual Attention Inside dashboard. Now I already ran a test on my site, but we're gonna check out their demo study to show you how it actually works. Now, what you do is like you upload the image. It takes about, I don't know, depending on the complex city, I think five to 10 minutes to for them to work out the algorithm, the AI, and tell you how the hotspots are. All right, this is the demo site right here. And right off the bat, you can see these little hotspots. Um, I don't know if you played before that game where you try to decide if something is close or not. If something was really close, it would be you would say hot, 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 and if it was, if it, if it was getting far away, you would say it's getting cold, colder. So that's how it works. Red would be the hottest, which is where the attention is going to be focused on, and blue would be kind of the focus. And if there's no hot spot, then that means that's the least attention in that place. All right. So this is the example right here, and you can see two really big hot spots right here. There's one right here and one over here. So there's 32% right here and 30% over here. So that means where the main focus would be. Now you got these little red squares right here that tell you the percentage of that hotspot. If you if that's like annoying or if you don't like that, you just turn it off right here. And that way you only see these little hot spots. Now you can see there's a little bit over here on the top left, which is like a bluish, that means let's put the percentage that's only three percent percentage that means that's they're gonna look at the logo not a lot but they're gonna focus on this now i think you might be asking why would you want to know this or why is this important well maybe i want to show you this example right maybe this thing this is right here mailchimp presents sxsw short films let's just say that is not your focus point I mean, that's not the most important thing about your SaaS or your image or your promotion that you're trying to do. So you're doing something wrong. You need to fix it and change that focus point to what actually matters. So maybe the main focus would be like uh, top trending in the world. Maybe that's the thing that you want to focus on people to check that out. So you fix the image after you see this, right? So then you do another test to see how it actually turns out. Maybe you, you would use a comparison for that. I'll show you in a bit. That's one of the reasons I would use it. The other reason I would use it, for example, if I try to get a brand new client and they already have a website and I know their website is dull, there's not much attention going on, well, I'll, I'll use this system, I'll do the screenshot and I would show them the hotspots. It's like, hey, you know what? Your site is not really getting the attention you need and it's like, the attention is not where you need it, it's somewhere else. So you need to update your site and maybe you get a brand new client with that. So there's a lot of things that you might do with this tool to get brand new clients or just upgrade your things, right? If you're going to do images for social media, then you might use that for, for that also. Now, what other information do we have? So let's just say you want to combine these hotspots to see what the percentage is of all this combined. So you can just drag your mouse right here and we'll combine this right here. And we'll call this number two, just for example, and calculate attention. So let's close this one because it's actually messing around. All right. So based on all these, it's 92%. So basically it's taking up all the attention of the site of this. In this case, it's a site, right? But it could be an image. 
So 92%, it's focused right there. Could that be the focus point you want? Could be, and then it's okay. But if not, then fix the image or the site in this case. Now, other things you have is the clarity score. Clarity score is based on how clarity, how clear your message is across what you need. So for example, if there's an image and there's text on top and there's other things going on, then your clarity score goes down. So maybe this is just how you like it. That's good. Clarity score 66%, then we're okay. But maybe you have a 40%. There's too much things going on. You need to fix it. And the other one is the Alexa site rank. This is based on their rankings based on, I'm gonna show you right here, which is your website ranking companies with top 170 Alexa sites, 170 Alexa sites in landing category. So it's doing a comparison between those 170 sites and it's telling you, you rank around 60 to 70 percent. No, 60 to 70 on the sites. Yeah, it could be percentage also. And it tells you if it's good or not right here. So you up right here, you got 38% based on that, on that algorithm for Alexa. Now we have other demos right here, which is you get hotspots right here also, gives you more information, but I'm gonna show you what I did on my site. So let's go back to studies, check out my site, which is sassam.co, let's wait for that to load. And this is how my score did, right? So I got a 77% clarity and main focus point is right here. So that's where the main focus of everyone's attention, most of people's attention is gonna head right here. Could this be the right situation for me? I would say not. So after seeing this, I would say, you know what, I need to be way more clear of what I need right here. Maybe add a little bit more focus points over here. So it's not just right dead in the center. I want to spread a little bit around the focus point. So I need to fix it. And like I said before, this could be a use case situation. I got two buttons right here. Once this video, that's a 6% click to th click through rate, 6% also over here and a little bit of attention over here on my logo. Let's hover this right here. How much attention for this logo? So let's just put logo, calculate attention. And we have wait for that to load, a 9% attention. Um, is that enough for the logo? I think it's okay. But over here, I think I'm doing a really bad job and I only was able to see this after using this. So this could be a game changer for yourselves, for the people's attention to get your point across. If it's a charity to get, like if you have children there, then people are not looking at the children then you need to fix things around. I mean, there's plenty of things that you need to do to fix. So there's a clarity score also, 77%, and I'm actually doing pretty good here, which is 78%, and that's how it goes. Next thing we have is the comparisons. So we're gonna see the comparison, and we have two images to compare. We got screen one over here, and screen two, which is a little bit different. Not a lot, but it's a bit different. And you can see the scores right here. Clarity, 64%, and on screen two, 66%. So overall, it did better on the second screen, but worse on the header. It is 6% uh, less on header. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what you want to accomplish. But you can see over here, the blob is dead center on screen one, and on screen two, it's a little bit more extended and almost nothing on the header. So that could be a good thing, like I said, or a bad thing. Now you got 45% on header and 5% click through action rate right here. So there must be a button right here they, that they added to change that. Now this could be a really good use case to compare two sites that you've been working on or maybe two images on social media. So yeah, like you did some images here, some text and just move them around and compare two of them to see which one is better to use on social media. So it just depends use cases that you wanna use. There's a lot of things that you can use this with. Well, there you go, guys. That is Attention Insight. And if you guys want to grab the deal, like I said before, this is the $59 deal. If you need more, then just jump to the next levels. The link, it's an affiliate link. It won't cost you a single cent more if you use it. It just helps me out to grab these deals and make videos for you guys. I thank you guys for watching. My name is George, and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.